the former doctor of the Russian national football team, the head of the medical staff of CSKA Edward Beziglov, said that together with colleagues he reviewed trimetazidine, a substance found in the doping test of figure skater Kamila Voliva. Voliva passed a positive test in December 2021. At the 2022 Olympics in Beijing, the figure skater became the Olympic champion in the team tournament, but the award never took place due to a doping investigation. In PubMed, a search engine in sports medicine, we made a keyword query in English. As a result, 1164 articles on the topic of interest to us were found. This is for all time. According to the results of the screening, it turned out that no studies involving athletes were conducted. There were four involving healthy volunteers, published in 1985, 1993, 2017 and 2019, where the effect of trimetazidine on the body was studied. And what is the conclusion? There is no data on the positive effect of trimetazidine on performance, recovery and other aspects of health in the general population, and the number of adverse events developing with its use can be characterized as relatively frequent. Simply put, there is no practical benefit for an athlete? Exactly. The conducted search also revealed an extremely low prevalence of its use, 0.1% 0.23% and mainly in cyclic forms, even during the period when it was not on the prohibited list, as well as the relatively frequent development of adverse events, including Parkinsonism, tremor and disorders of the vestibular apparatus. Plus, there is information about the possible contamination of biologically active additives and multivitamin preparations with this substance, which were the cause of unfavorable results of doping tests. Contaminated products? Yes. In 2016, trimetazidine was found in an out-of-competition sample of American swimmer Madison Cox. The athlete stated that she had never heard of this substance, and the Hearing Commission of the International Aquatics Federation, FINA, recognized Cox as an honest, very hardworking and trustworthy athlete who is not a fraudster. Compare, by the way, with the ISU's reaction to the Voliva case. How did the Coke story end? Reduced a disqualification from four to two years. FINA upheld the sanction because Coke could not convincingly indicate the probable source of the substance content. In her defense, the athlete at first said that she could get into the body together with tap water, but this version could not be confirmed. Then the American was able to prove that trimetazidine was contained in the vitamin and mineral complex she was taking, and cause reduced the two-year disqualification to six months. But to solve such issues, research is needed. In evidence-based medicine, indisputable facts are necessary, nothing will work for a fool. And I am concerned that practically nothing is being done to protect Camila in this regard. My colleagues and I decided to conduct a schematic review of trimetazidine just for sport, and we spent a month on it. But is this how it should work? Moreover, the work has been sent to the enterprise. Everyone can already study. They read in the world, but the reaction in Russia is zeros. Although, given the importance and complexity of the case, it could be assumed that great efforts would be thrown at research of this kind and possible contamination of this substance. These are all variants of the line of defense, Beziglov said.